Today in class, we discussed the algebraic and numerical definition of the golden ratio, or phi. And we discovered that it is 1.618. We did this algebraically, which you guys did a great job. And we took the Fibonacci number sequence and found that if we took a term and divided by the previous term, we got a set of numbers that started to approach the golden ratio as well, 1.618. So we plotted these on this chart, and we could see that we started at 1, which is way below the golden ratio, went to 2, which is way above, went down to 1.5, which is below, to 1.66, which is above, and so we kept going uh, below and above, getting closer and closer. If we were to continue this, it would just be this tiny little wave. And as we went out towards infinity with our number sequence, we would see that the, uh, the ratio would approach the golden ratio. It would never actually reach it, but it would uh, approach it very, very closely. And so there's some more interesting patterns with the golden ratio and uh, Fibonacci that we're, I'm asking you guys to look at tonight. So let's take a look at this first one together, 2.3 squaring Fibonacci. Okay, so write the first 12 terms of the Fibonacci sequence in the table below. Okay, so we've got zero, we've got zero, one, one, two, three. You guys remember the sequence. So we add two and three to get five, three and five to get eight, five and eight to get 13, and so on. So we've got, we get to 34, 55, and 89. Okay, we'll stop there at 89. Now I want to square these numbers. Okay, so zero squared is zero. We got one, one. Okay, so two squared, four. Three squared, nine. Five squared, 25. 64. 13 squared, 169. That's about the end of my, uh, my squaring facts there. So 21, we got 441. 34 squared is 1156. 55 squared is 3025. And then 89 squared is, uh, let's see, 89 squared, 7921. Okay, so I just squared all of those numbers there. Let's zoom in. Add the consecutive terms. Okay, so uh, what does consecutive mean? So we, we know uh, consecutive numbers are 1, 2, 3, Four. These consecutive terms are one term, and then the next term, then the next term. These are consecutive. So we're going to add the two consecutive terms here. So let's do the first two. We have 0 and 1. If we add those together, we get 1. 1 and 1 is 2. We've got 1 and 5. Or sorry, 1 and 4 is 5. 4 and 9 is 13. 9 and 5 is 34, and then we've got 89, and then, let's see, 64 plus 169 is 233, uh, just double check, so we've got, I think that's right, 169 plus 64, 233, okay. And now we've got 169 plus 441. That's going to be 6, 6, 10, 6, 10, I think. 169 plus 441, 6, 10. 
and then 1597. Okay. Probably don't need to go all the way out here to see the pattern. But since I told you to do it, 4181. And then the last one, 3025 plus 7921. 7921. Ten thousand nine forty six. Okay. Um, so I asked you to. Uh, what do you get? Okay. So we we did that. We found the square. We add the consecutive term, and what do we get? Um, so what what do we notice here? Um, well. One, let's just maybe write some of these down. One is a, a Fibonacci number. Two is a Fibonacci number. Five is a Fibonacci number, but we skipped two and three. So we ended up skipping two. Uh, sorry, we ended up skipping just, uh, we ended up skipping just three, right? So we ended up skipping Maybe I'll put this in blue. So we end up skipping three, but then we got five. And then we went to 13, didn't we? So we skipped um, eight, right? So we end up skipping eight, but then we got 13. All right, and then uh, we got 34 next. So we had 13, so we that we end up skipping 21, right? We skipped 21 and got to 34. Okay, and then we went 89. So 89, we went from 34 to 89, so we jumped over 55. Um, nice. Now, it looks like, it looks like we're skipping over, but all but the first two, right? We, we're going every other Fibonacci number here. And you, you want to say, oh, well, we actually got one and two. Those were right next to each other. But perhaps, perhaps we, we did skip one here. Maybe we skipped the blue one here. So we actually did skip a number in the sequence because it's repeated. So if we look at it that way, um, then maybe it does make sense that if we square the number and then add the consecutive term, it just skips every other Fibonacci number. Uh, and we can continue this, right? Uh, so we, we stopped at um, 89, so to 233. So if we add, um, if we go through here, we, we were to get this next one, 55 and 89. 55 plus 89, is that's 144. And then if we add, uh, and then the next, yeah, and then the next one would be 233, right? 233 is the next in the sequence. So we're actually going to skip over 144. And we will hit 233. So, I mean, it's just an interesting characteristic of this sequence. Okay, that's this is all we're, we're really seeing here. It's just an interesting pattern, right? So um, what do we get? So we get... Uh, this pattern suggests that we get every other Fibonacci number in the sequence. Maybe I'll do that. Write a little short description here. And 
I like to do it in Marco Felt because that's what I feel like. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Add the squares for the first three Fibonacci numbers. Add the squares for the first four, five, six, and seven. Ooh, okay. And then uh, what's interesting about it? Okay, so uh, let's... I already have this table above, and that's done on purpose, so let's see if that can help us. The squares of the first three numbers. This row right here, and let's get another color, eggplant. So we've got zero plus one plus one. Those are the first three, and I get two. Let's do for the first uh, four. So zero, zero plus one plus one plus four is six. And we've got zero plus one plus one plus four plus nine. Okay, so I'm just adding the next number in the sequence, right? Uh, so essentially that's six plus nine, right? 15. And then we've got, so basically if I just take all these numbers and just add the next one, right? Okay, so I'll just write it. So it's zero plus, we do one, we do another one, we add four, we add nine. We already saw that that's 15, right? And we're just gonna add the next number in the sequence, which is 25. And when we do that, we get 40, because 15 plus 25 is 40. Cool, and then let's do one more here. Zero plus one plus one plus four plus nine plus 25, plus 64, that's the next one, right? And that gets us, I think it's 104. I'm just gonna double check. We got 40, oh yeah, 40 plus 64 is 104. Yep, done, I think I got that. All right, so now, um, there we go, 2, 6, 15, 40, and 104. Find some interesting, find something interesting inside those numbers. Think factors. Okay, so uh, factors of 2, how about 2 times 1? Factors of 6. Uh, so factors of 6 are 6, 3, 2, and 1, right? So how about, uh, let's say we don't use the number n and, and 1. So how about 3 and 2? Factors of 15. So, you know, I could have said, I could have also said 6. 6 and 1 would be the factor. So I could have said, you know, 6 and 1 would be factors, uh, but uh, I'm actually not really interested in those. Okay, 15, we know that, yes, we know 15 and 1 are factors, but what are the other factors? 5 and 3. Right, factors of 40. Okay, so there's a lot of factors of 40, but can we see where the, do we see the pattern yet? So we can kind of know where it's going. Right, so I've got 2, 1, 3, 2, 5, 3. Any of these numbers look familiar? I mean, we're ascending here, right? 2, 3, 5. Ascending here, 1, 2, 3. What do you think this next term is going to be? Factors of 40. How about 8 and 5? 8 times 5 is 40. 2, 3, 5, 8. One, two, three, five. Do you see it? What's happening here? Okay. So, I mean, we're this is the Fibonacci sequence right here for the factors. Starting with two. Two, three, five, eight. And then this one also is a Fibonacci sequence starting with one. So just looking at this right here, 
and not even caring what the next number is, what would we expect the next two factors to be? So if we look, you know, we've got our table up here. The next value after 8 should be 13. I'll write it a little bit lower. And the next value after 5 should be 8. Okay, so uh, what is 13 times 8? 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 1 is 8 plus uh, 2 is 104. It worked. That's 104. Okay, so um, the, the, the trick here or the pattern that we see is the if we were to continue and add the next uh, eight Fibonacci numbers, we would expect the factors to be following the same pattern as the uh, the series Fibonacci series suggests. So this next one would be 21. We would expect the next sum to be 21 times 13. That's what our, that's my, my prediction is that. So 21 times 13 is 273. So let's see here. We know that the first seven are already 104. So then we would be adding the next square in the sequence. So we're already at 64, which is right here. So the next number that we would add if we were going to do the first 8 would be 169. So if we add 169 to 104, does that give us 273? So I got 104 and we're adding 269 to it. Sorry, 169. And 4 plus 9 is 13. And 1, 0, and 6, that's 7, and then 1 and 1 is 2, and it worked, right? So there it is, kind of a cool, another just interesting thing that we get with the Fibonacci sequence. It's why we see this number sequence is so famous and so interesting. Okay, that's it, everybody, for that one. Uh, if there are some parts that you still haven't completed, from our earlier exercises, uh, like going through our quadratic formula, or perhaps you still have some work to do uh, on uh, part one, uh, please do that. Tomorrow we will take a look at uh, one last Fibonacci number sequence trick, and then we'll be off to part three. All right, everybody. Hope that makes sense, and I hope you have a great day.